This fourth snapshot contains over 250 changes merged in a little over 3 weeks since the Dev3 snapshot. This Dev3 snapshot was released on the 11th of August, quite a long time ago, so this update must have super interesting stuff we'll check out in this video. And now let's start. So here in the Godot website, we can find in the latest news the dev snapshot Godot 4 to Dev 4. So, we are making great progress in the development branch for Godot 4.2. The faster paced release cycle we started following after the 4.0 release seems to be working well with pull requests being opened, reviewed and merged at a steady rate. This fourth dev snapshot contains nearly 250 PRs merged in a litter over 3 weeks since the Dev3 snapshot. If we take a look at the Dev3 snapshot, as you can see it was released on the 11th of August, quite a long time ago, so they have been working on this version for like 21 days. This snapshot brings a lot of goodies, here are some of the highlights with a bigger list available below. So here we have the most important highlights and relevant stuff new in the version but we also have here all the what's new section with all the stuff that is new in this version. So for example, the initial support for C Sharp on Android Merge for Dev3 is now ready for mass testing. Official export templates are, are provided in the .NET Mono build so you can start supporting your C Sharp projects to Android and give us feedback and blah 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 blah. As usual we have some uh, rendering bug fixes and improvements. We have here some other bugs fixing, bug fixes in GD script, improvements in the developer experience with GD extensions on Windows, and some editor usability improvements. As I told you, uh, you can check out all these uh, new highlights yourself and if you scroll down a little bit you can find all 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 the new changes that are uh, included in this new version so now let's actually download the engine so the downloads for this pre-release build can be found in our github repository so let's click here you also have here some information that may be useful and if we still scroll down a little bit, we can find all the versions that we can download. In this case, I'm gonna download the version Windows 64, that is my current operating system. So, as usual, uh, this is just a compressed file that, as you can see, the download is super, super fast. So, I'm just gonna open this file and we have the executable. This is the executable and this one is just the console okay so let's open the executable and as you can see in just a matter of a couple of seconds we have good jobs installed as i'm always saying the fact that uh, we can download open good job in just a couple of seconds is just incredible because in literally any other game engine such as unity we will have to download a, a lot of software before actually uh, creating a project because well right now i'm gonna open a new project but i can still see some differences for example here the the layout of the ui is a little bit different for example we have here the sort um, option and we also have here the new important scan options that i think for example the scan uh, button was over here but now it's over here with this dev snapshot, usually these are the minor uh, improvements that they include. They aren't actually improvements, they are just small changes. So let's actually create a new game. I'm gonna call this one uh, for 2 dev 4 I'm gonna create a new folder. You can select here your renderer, you can change it if you want. I'm just gonna leave it as default. And now let's click create and edit. Okay, once we are here, and here we have the 3D environment. Uh, this error seems to still be happening. This uh, green line that when you zoom in and you zoom out, like start glitching, as you can see. But as soon as you move a little bit and you zoom in and out again, as you can see, it seems to be fixed. 
Uh, but well, as soon as you open a project and you zoom in without moving the camera, uh, starts glitching. So that's something that should be fixed. And also here in the output, I think I'm receiving this warning since the first betas of Goodzode 4. And for me, it's really, really um, annoying because we're receiving a warning without having actually created anything or without having set up anything. So of course this shouldn't happen. But anyway, uh, as usual we have here the 2D, 3D script and asset library uh, windows. And remember that if we right click in any of these windows, for example, I'm gonna right click on my file system, sorry, uh, here on these three dots, you can make floating a window so that you can reposition it wherever you want. And if you close it, it goes back to the original position. The same thing happens with the script editor because with this icon right here, you make the script editor floating. So you can drag and drop this window in any other monitor that you may have. Of course, the feature was added a couple of versions ago. And if you don't have a, at least two monitors, I believe there isn't like uh, and an actually an actual improvement on that you you won't be able to take advantage of this make floating a uh, future unless you have two monitors or of course more than two okay now let's create some uh, very basic stuff just to try out the workflow so the first thing i'm gonna do is i'm gonna create a node and um, now here I'm gonna create two sprites and I'm gonna quick load the icon of the dot so that as you can see here I can render any image that I want and what I actually would like to do is to create uh, three icons one icon here one icon here and one icon here and when i press the one i would like to change the color of the first icon when i press the two the second icon and uh, when i press the three the third icon color okay something very simple to just try out so once we have the first one uh, we're gonna be changing the color using the modulate okay as you can see i can change the color so um, I'm gonna duplicate this one and uh, move it right here and then a third copy would be also okay and move it right here now in my root node I'm gonna attach a new script with this button as you can see attach a new or existing script to the selected node I'm gonna create an empty script because if not it will create a um, some base template with default good cycle method i don't want that i want a completely empty script and now um what i'm gonna be doing is that uh, on my process that this function is called at every frame i'm gonna actually a uh, prefix delta with an underscore so that it doesn't uh, throw me an a warning and what I'm gonna be doing here is very simple. I'm gonna detect if I'm pressing um, get key down, is key down, I think it was, is key pressed, key one. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change my first icon color to, for example, red. Then, if I'm pressing the two, I'm gonna change my second icon color to blue, for example. Of course, you can here select from the list any color you want. Finally, if I'm pressing the three, I'm gonna change my third icon color to, for example, let's see here the list. Um, for example, I like this one. So this code is very, very simple. When I press the one, the first icon 
y color is change and when i press the second one the second icon color is change is change and the same thing happens with the third icon and the key three now i'm gonna uh, save my scene i'm gonna save it as uh, just main as you can see i can see it uh, right here now i'm gonna click play I'm gonna select a, a main scene, so I'm gonna select my current scene as my main one. And well, of course, here I have my three icons. And I'm gonna press here the key one, the first one changes, key two, and key three. Fortunately, everything seems to be working just fine. And just to try out a final thing, on my ready function that is called as soon as we start playing i'm gonna print something very basic for example subscribe to the channel okay to be the first one of knowing the latest good dot news so subscribe <laughs> and now when we start playing we see the message on the um, output and also we have here one two three again everything working just fine okay we also have uh, the web editor version that we can try out as you can see this is the latest version uh, that we can choose i'm gonna start the good job editor okay i have here all of my projects uh, again we have the changes in the ui of course because uh, they are the same same versions just the one in the in one is in desktop and the other one is in the web so i'm gonna create a project uh, 4.2 uh, the 4 create folder here as you can see in the web editor we can select a uh, other renderer that isn't compatibility that's okay as you can see i can't it doesn't matter if i click them or anything i can just select compatibility and now let's click right here to create the game okay here on the output i'm not receiving a warning well actually i'm receiving two warnings and one error okay whereas in the desktop version i was receiving a warning that was related to the blender or something like that but well here is some is something related to the socket and here um something related to a texture a texture uh, i think anyway let's try out again some things very basic i'm gonna create a node and i'm gonna create three sprites okay with the corresponding icons this is gonna be my first icon then i will have my second one right here and my third one right here i'm gonna attach an empty script right here now as i already have my um, code here i could just copy and paste it right here and there shouldn't be any kind of problem and i believe that if we now click play well before playing i should save my scene i don't know why ctrl s is not working so i'm gonna go to scene save scene and i'm gonna save it right here ah uh, something new let's say is that it doesn't give you a, a file name by default as you can see this is empty so i have to write it myself uh, on the version uh, a couple of weeks ago uh, and i believe all the versions of the engine used to like put the same name of the root node right here so by default this should be node but uh, it was just empty so i'm gonna set it to main in this case then i'm gonna click play select current and one two three and also we should see here the message of subscribe uh no that i can see because it should be on the output so let's try again but i don't i don't know if we can actually see the messages uh, on the web editor i i don't think so but well to try out if the ready function is working well what i'm gonna be doing here is i'm gonna create a, a fourth icon and i'm gonna change this fourth icon color on my ready so this is gonna be uh, like this my fourth icon and i'm gonna change the color to for example a uh, light blue then i'm gonna uh, play again 
Um, I'm gonna close this one. Stop running. Play again. Okay, yes, yeah, it's light blue. I can't see it re very well because the icon is uh, blue. So I'm gonna change it to something like red. Okay, and now as you can see, everything is working just fine. So what are your thoughts on this without new version? As usual, subscribe to the channel to be the first one of knowing the latest without news. Thanks for watching, see you on the next one and bye bye.